Welcome my guys to Code Like Ag. So the other time, the last time we met, this is where we left. We left at um, so the Twitter call back here, then we retrieved the zero or token and the token secret. When we pass the two seek tokens to a function called post message to Twitter. Then over here we connect to we, we, we create another Twitter connection using the Twitter zero auth um, object, then we set the timeout, then we pass in the auth token secret, auth token and auth token secret of the user. When the user authorizes the app, we retrieve the two tokens and we pass these two tokens to our connection here. So let me expand my bits. So that is it. So these tokens here are the tokens. So from part one, these are the tokens or the um, consumer keys that I use because it's, it's my app that I'm using for this tutorial. If you want to do yours, you have to generate your own token. So if you copy my token and you use it, it wouldn't work because I've refreshed the token. Yeah, so so basically that's what we've been able to do. So we set the timeout and with a single line of code, we are able to post to the user's Twitter handle with this message test great. Are you okay? So, if you're following this tutorial and you try that, it should work, you shouldn't have any issue. So, today, now realize that before we are able to post to Twitter again, we need to come and click this button, which is poor user experience. The best thing to do because Twitter gives us when the person authorizes the app. Um, we retrieve the auth token and auth token secret. We are supposed to store this token in our system so that the next time the user comes, there will be a form for the user to just input the message and post to Twitter. If you are familiar with, with um, platforms like Hootsuite, um, yeah, I think Hootsuite and those other social media, um, social media marketing platforms, they do all these things and store the user token on your behalf. Then the next time you go, you just log on, you see the options there that when I want to send a message to your page, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. So they store your token. So that's what we are coming to do today. We're gonna store the token retrieve at this point. You're gonna store these tokens in the DB. The token or token and zero or token secret. So the next time we come, so we're gonna we will also add a field here that's uh, like a checkbox that you have actually connected to your Twitter account. Then the next time you can just click on post message the form will come and put your message so and we click on send and it should appear on your twitter handle or twitter page so that's what i'm gonna do today yeah so that's what i'm gonna do today so in order to achieve that we will need to create a model so let's say um let me just PHP that is um create table for that make model. So let's say social let's say social of minus n to create the migration. Okay, so yes. So we have okay, so we have um if you're going to be a multi-user system, multi-user system, you will need a user ID. Then user ID, yeah, that's the user ID. Then you need the Twitter screen underscore name. So user ID. So here we we'll make a string screen name. So from now, let me make all of them available. Twitter screen name. So Twitter zero auth token zero auth token and zero auth token secret token. Uh, so let's just add our sub list. Just copy. So because I've not built the system to handle login, I will not use this user ID. You can still add it if you want. So I just remove my own copy. Open my model as um, social auth. So 
I use my salty salt delete it's good to use php store because it allows you to do auto import um if you're even vs code or sublime that's fine just that you might need to install third party plugins so I fill up all um okay so there, there were three fields right the screen name yeah so I just command shift alt then I just type and press the paste so yeah okay so this should work okay so let's run the migration php artisan migrate okay uh created social table so you can ignore the other table so just so close this close that so we are now come to refine our code here okay so here this is what happens um instead of posting to message posting message to twitter we just say um save token to database save token database and we're gonna it's call. 10 o'clock so we have save just give an example call social out Take query um so we're gonna do it in such a way that even if the user clicks on the connect button more than once it shouldn't create an extra record so we're gonna do that achieve that sorry it um update or create or first or create yeah so you can so update so we're gonna use um update or create so yeah update or create and then that update or create you're gonna pick to values, I think. So we have data query. So we have um Twitter. So is it? Let me open the model again. Uh, Twitter screen name. Who oh, is going to be equal to? Okay. So let me just say, say screen underscore name. So let's see the screen name here. So we will do a die dump of this request to see what we have. Then I might need to do some correction here if need be. So screen name. Then I have my Twitter auth token. So I'll explain Twitter auth token to token then we have the auto token secret having so let's do a dig here to see how it works so basically the update or create works like this so it will use the first so it will check with this record is there a record in a DB that has a um, Twitter screen name as this? If yes, it will do an update. So to update the records with this and that. So these fields are the ones going to be updated. But if there is no record, if there's no record of such, it will create a new um, a record for with the Twitter screen name, the auto token and auto token secrets. So that's basically it. So since the Twitter secret Twitter screen name is going to be constant, there's no need to be doing if else find where no no no. No need for that leave you just stay with the update or create because we know that um it is a Twitter auto token and token secret that's going to be changed from time to time. Yeah and there's also an expiry um uh, date attached to every token that you get from Twitter. Get it so it's better you use the update or create the other methods like first or create but for the purpose of this tutorial what we are trying to achieve which we go with auto token uh, sorry go with update or create uh yeah so this is it so you, let me just put a dd here to see the response um okay so let me just okay so let's refresh um okay no need let's connect 
mm, could not authenticate you right because i had to um i've um regenerated my token secret and my sorry my consumer key and consumer secret so i have to go back to um developers data apps so i have to come back here to come to details keys and tokens so i need to pick these keys again so after this tutorial i'll change it again yeah so let me just replace it here as i said you need to get your own authorization keys so i'll come back here then it should work this time perfect yeah so say authorize up yeah so i have my zero protecting um i didn't return the screen name okay so let's do some debugging in our code and see Okay, so before we let's put a item here the access token. I think the access token will be of yeah. Yeah, why we retrieve the access token? If I refresh it to draw an error because it's a it's a yeah, so let's go do a go through the process again. So I have zero auth token and auth token secret here. Okay, so let's see again. Okay, so let's see. So here yeah, I have. Okay, so let's bypass this round. Mm. So at this level, okay. I'm taking all verify. Okay, so no problem. Let's pick this one. Let's do okay. So we're here. Let's dip down the token here. Let's see. Wow, oh, right. So, okay, so I got it right. So the screen name is um code like eyes, right? So the screen name is code like eyes. So and the parameter is screen underscore name. Okay, so I got it right. So um, let's check our update or create then daily save. This feature um, is temporary and unavailable. Okay, so let's go through the process again. It's expected. Connect. So it worked. It's been able to save. So let me check. So cool like eyes, my Twitter zero auto token is this. I took auto token secret is this. So we've been able to save it in the model. Uh, so let's check again if it's going to override. So see the ID here is one. So the next time we try on the device, the expected output is that the ID should still be one because we are using Laravel's model updates um, update or create. Because the screen name is still going to be the same. Just go like eyes one. So let's go back. Um, if I click on it, okay. So let's go back. Connect. I think it should still be one because we might need to. Yeah, okay. Is it one? Yeah, there's it. So the ID here is one. These tokens are liable to change. So it's working. Okay, so no need to do that item. So let's come here. Um, so once it's successful, let's return redirect. Let's return redirect to this page to route home dot index. Um, we are not going to. So let me comment out this page. This function. I suspected go back Fresh. start again thrice yeah it brings us back to this page so you're gonna put a conditional statement to check so if 
Um, so let's add another button to this switch. This connect button. So I shall uh, write it. Um, so let me just add NBSP. NBSP. Don't break our space. Okay. So um, let's see. Pending. Pending. Right. Order yellow, see yellow. Hmm, it's not nice. Okay, die yellow, BG yellow. Hmm, I think it's fine. Yeah, so we know that Twitter is pending. So, what you're going to do, we're going to do some checks here. So um, let me do it from the controller instead. So where's my controller? Um, let me check my routes. So where are my um, where are the routes? So form controller index. So yeah. See Twitter. Say Twitter. I'll just say social auth query. Should I say first or since we are now doing Twitter, I just say first. Just want to check if it contains something. So DD Twitter. Okay, there's something there. Let's pass in the variable to a controller. This variable come to our app. Let me say we just do a check. So let's use the, the double curly braces. So we say Twitter. So um, we just say um, connected. Else pending. So this is our shorthand for if else fresh. Yeah, so we are connected now. Yes, so we are connected. So what? Um. So let's go through the process again. PHP artisan. So I'm gonna roll back the migration. Refresh PHP artisan migrate. Refresh. Step one. Step one is right. So. So it's now at pending. Um, so we're gonna make sure that the pendant is not clickable. So just put hash. It doesn't go anywhere. So let's connect. Otherwise, we're now connected to a Twitter app. Yes. What next is to so once this one is connected, um, so instead of saying connected, let's say, let's change it to post a message. So remember, what we are going through is the same as what we did in part two of this series. Just that here we are storing the access token and the token secret, so that any time the user can come and schedule or sorry not to schedule to post a message to Twitter without need um, needing to go through the um, the authorization process again. So, so post a message. Mm, so, uh, so we might need to create a route. So let's so say get Twitter post message. Pick the route. Come to up. Place it here. Um, okay, so it's supposed to be in there. So, mm -hmm. okay, shouldn't get any error. So, what next? Um, so it should redirect your form or Instead of doing the form, let's reduce the number of pages. So, 
might need to do something here. So, okay, let's finish loading. Let's see which of them we can use. Remember, we can go with this. So let me just okay. So before I grab the code, let me see how I can as a post message. Okay, so let's see if we can push it here, expand it, and hide the Facebook um a Facebook card. Okay. Okay, so that's what I've been able to do so far. Sorry guys, my UI is very poor. So um so we will switch back to connected. So just say connected instead of pending. Then we you just do an if statement. So at if uh so if Twitter that means if we have a set it's not empty, we just echo this so and if yeah so it's a form that is a route so I will need this it's 10 30 form method form method of it One method is going to be post uh, of the action as this particular route. So level is the other CSRF token. So if we try and make a post request, uh, or so button type to submit. Post method is not support the right, so yes, post. We have Twitter post here, so let's check media controller. There's no function like that. So public uh, function. Okay, so for here to we're gonna make use of this post function. We're not going to so just require message. Yeah, so what we'll do is we just call the function this post message to Twitter. So it requires the auto connect ticket. So we have a a form controller. Let me just copy this. Oops. So here I have my the first parameters is so here will be um Twitter auto token. Then here will be the next will be the token secret. Next will be mm, so the message. So so I just put a return here. You can actually do a DD of this to see the result after after the push. Yeah, so you can do that on your own. So I have my so I have to make sure that this secret here match because the new one. Okay, I think I've already changed that. Okay, I've already changed that. Mm, so return so after here um once it's posted to come to this function and this function right I need to set this one so status is going to be this message here okay so let's come back fresh 
I'm so let me open my Twitter. Uh, so name is Ice Bravo Dev. Mm. Mm, message from Travesy <laughs> Brad. Okay, so just say post message. Let's see what happens. Mm, so it worked. Let's um, do we need to refresh? I think so. Let's refresh. Mm, do I see it here? Okay, it seems it's not here. So let's go back and see what we did wrong. Right, we didn't set the, the input name of message, uh, request is message. So we need to set that. So it's a text area. Then there's the name, the name, name. The name should be message. That makes sense now. So refresh the name. It's cool, like guys. Post. Okay, let's check again. Hmm. Still not here. Okay, so um, it's not working as we intend. So let's start with our debugging. So the post comes here. So let's do our DD message. Okay. So, so we have the name here. So here we have. So we, Zero or token token secret in the message. Okay, so let's say DD push right. The die down. Let's see. Mm. HTTP code four zero one. I see. Okay. Get last HTTP code. Mm -hmm. Mm, let's, mm. Four zero one unauthorized. Uh, I could be causing um, okay, let's see. Okay, guys, there seems to be an issue here. So, if you see my Twitter consumer keys, I have here Z4DPEX. So, that is what I have at the top here. But if you come, if you check the callback, I have different keys there. So, let me just correct that mistake and test again. I think the same thing up. Apply going forward, there was going to be a better way of handling this token so that with one variable, I'll just need to. So, right now, my post should work after some time, wasting time on doing a lot of debugging. Um, because I changed the case, I need to do another verification again. I think, authorize the app. So test then Hello world. Ok 
Okay, testing hello world if I should come here. There you go, you see here. Great, so we wasted a lot of time trying to debug the issue. So the problem was with this. So I even introduced an SSL verif verifier. So the issue with our consumer keys here, it was different from what we initially used. So I had to correct down um, the consumer keys and the consumer key secret and the key I used here. So it's something that you have to take note. So in order to curb this issue, I'll create a private variable at the top. So let me say private. Um, let's say consumer consumer key. Sorry. So we change it once. We change for all. Secret. Let's call them here. So let me just pause the video. Pause the video and just do the changes quick. Okay. So I just copy the whole of this. And just go ahead and replace it here. Do the same for up here. Yeah, so if you run another test, I'm not with Chrome. So let me delete this post. Um, delete. Come back, fresh. Hi, good. Post. Okay, so show sure this is as well. See it here, hi, good. Okay, so there you go, guys. So, the next video, we're gonna learn how to post to Twitter. With the same form, we're gonna add an attachment to post to Twitter using a file with a file, attaching a file or yeah, a GIF or video or anything. But we'll do it with an image. Thank you guys for watching. You can subscribe and share if you haven't done so. And we shall see you in the next video.